and that's the new unit swap out today. Changing out this one for a walk-in freezer in the store. Thing's done, it's junk, so compressor's bad and everything. Thing's about 20 years old, so customer wants a new one, we're gonna be changing it out today. So gas is already out of this guy's, which is nice. We had another guy came and recovered this yesterday, so that makes my job a lot easier. I don't have to wait for that. So we just got here now, we got a disconnect on the roof coming over. This is our wires coming in. We got our three power legs, black, red, and blue. Now I'm in these other wires here. We got our ground wire, obviously, and our wires for our terminals that will be for our defrost. You know, we got N3, X, and 4. So what I do is we're going to be out, just label them, you know, label them with some tape, take pictures so you know something, just so you guys remember, because trust me, you can forget, and it'll get confusing, and then you can be in a real mess with the wiring after. New units should come with everything already pre-wired in it, like the clock and all that from the factory. So all we got to do is just connect these, which go indoors to our blower um, and our power leads. All right, so I got the unit out of there. The mess we got underneath this thing. I got to get a rake or something to clean this out. Just in a beast mode, this thing out of there. Just pulled it out myself. Do as I say and not as I do, boys. Save your backs. But... I had to get this thing out of there, so whatever. I got the kid bringing me down the new unit. He's going to help me get the new one in place. But then uh, I just wanted to get this thing out of here so I could clean up the pad and all this stuff. But, yeah, be careful, guys. Do things smart and save you back, you know? <laughs> all right, so new unit's in place, guys. You can see this one's much shorter, much smaller. We got a scroll compressor in this one. The new ones are smaller now, you know? more efficient and all that. I have it facing this way, not the other way, because of the way the wiring was um, with my electrical section here. If I had it turned the other way, if the condenser was over here, <clears throat> you see where we're at here. We wouldn't be able to open up the door to get in the electrical section. So that is no good. So I had to turn it this way, plus where it is to be on the pad here. You see how we're only about an inch in from the edge. So it just couldn't go the other way. So I turned it that way, just made my pipe and connections there, off the pipes there. So that's all. We got it on a vacuum now. Did my wiring. The lines coming in here. Got those coming in now, and then all the wires for our defrost and our fans and everything um, that are coming from our clock. All this is all pre-wired from the factory, which is which is nice. So all we got to do is just bring in our connections, and that's it. Got my whip over there, we got it on a vacuum now. See we're down to 2,600 microns right now, so we've got a little while to go. I'm gonna let her get down to 500. But, Navac pump, baby's killing it. Think sucking it down nice, so. Pretty much where we're at, I just gotta wait for this to pull down, and gonna get ready to charge her and start her up. Boy, so we're all up and running. I didn't film the charging pot, I got busy and wanted to do um, get this done, but that's the new unit, scroll compressor in there, see the unit's a lot smaller, but that's it, all done, so, another one in the books, nice easy one, so I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of this today, sorry I couldn't get into more detail about it, but I had to get this done as well, so, appreciate you watching anyways, boys. Yeah, what's up, boys, Just uh, that one there, short and sweet, um, so I couldn't show more on it. I got busy and I had to get that thing running. So I wasn't able to, you know, get everything, you know, on footage. But I put up a little poll on YouTube that it looked like a bunch of you saw. So it seemed like guys wanted to see it anyway. So figured I'd throw it up for you. So hopefully I'm going to start getting some more for you soon. Things are going to start picking up, get some more service work going and some other stuff. Like I said, I've still been on install stuff lately a lot. I'm still, still PMs and everything, you know, getting ready for the summer, spring, all that stuff. So. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well, and I appreciate it again, guys. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to catch your boys in the next one.